Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on percents, decimals, and fractions. So I just want to fill in this table, kind of going, flowing between the three forms of a number. So to go from a percent to a decimal, you divide by 100. And to go from a decimal to a percent, you multiply by 100. So we'll start with this, these two columns where we can. So if the percent is 72.75, if we divide by 100, that means we're bringing our decimal point back two places. This becomes 0 0.7275. If the decimal is 0.25, if we multiply by 100, this becomes 25%. Percent. percent literally means cent, like pennies in a dollar, literally means per 100. And percent was created to deal with decimals, so it's 25 per 100 percent. It's a way of dealing with small numbers in an easier fashion. So to go from here to here, we divide by 100. 160 divided by 100 is 1.6. 8.35 times 100 is 835 percent. Nothing is here. And this is the one that always trips students up because they don't want the decimal to be even smaller, but we are dividing. So we have 0 0.0045. Okay. So there's nothing more we can do until we move these numbers over. Okay. To go from a fraction to a decimal, we just divide. So um, the we could just throw this into a calculator. And if we took a calculator out and said 201 divided by 250, we would just get 0 0.804. Now, if we're doing this without a calculator, um, 250 goes into 1,000 four times. So if we multiplied the top and bottom by four, we would get 804 over 1,000. 1,000 is three zero, so we move the decimal back three spots and we would get point. 084, 804. Here, we could do the same thing. 25 goes, there's four quarters and a hundred and a dollar. So we multiply top and bottom by four to get 12 over a hundred to get 6.12. Or we could throw it into a calculator if you are using one. Depends on how you're being allowed to do this. So now we can multiply by a hundred to get 80.4%. We can multiply by 100 to get 612%. Okay, now the decimal. You take the number without the decimal point. 7275. And you put it over a 1 with the number of zeros as there are numbers past that decimal point. So there are one, two, three, four numbers past the decimal point. So we do one, two, three, four zeros. Now we have to reduce it. Well, 75 as the last two numbers means I can take a 25 out of top and bottom. If I divide top and bottom by 25, I get 291 over 400. And since 291, is not divisible by two or five. I am as reduced as I can get. Um, the denominator is a power of 10 and 10 is only divisible by two or five. So when you're reducing these, you only have to look for twos and fives. If it's not divisible by two or five, you can't reduce it. So that's one nice thing if you're doing this by hand, you're only checking if it's even or ending in five. If it's not, you can't reduce it any further. Okay, 25 has two, so over 100. And I hope everyone knows that this is one fourth because 25 is a quarter. Okay, so noticing that this is six in a fraction, I'm just gonna say one and six over 10, which is one and three fifths. I can divide a two out of both of those. 8 and 35, there are two decimal places, so two zeros. 
that ends in a five, so I can take a five out of top and bottom, which is eight and seven over 20. Okay, so I'm gonna put a 45. One, two, three, four, that's four zeros. Remember I said there's a zero for every number after the decimal point. I didn't say non-zero number, I said every number. Okay, divide top and bottom by five, and I get nine over 2,000. And now we have filled out our full table. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.